name's Jim Bilodeau. I'm Travis Mickle. My name's Lori Butts. Hey, uh, I'm Evan Sieberson. I'm Randy C. I'm Ramesh. My name's Tony Regala. Hey, I'm Luke Rogers. Hey, I'm Stephanie Dora. My name's Chris Gala. I'm at Skydive Paris. I'm here in Paris, California. The lovely Paris Valley. Yeah, Skydive Paris. And we're competing in the Wales. 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 Championships for the season of 2016. Why I fly wingsuits and what I love about flying wingsuits, it would be freedom. My favorite thing about wingsuit flying is the physical feeling of flying your body like a jet fighter. You're feeling G-forces on your body and it's, it's an incredibly powerful feeling. Within wingsuiting, we have two different kinds of wingsuit flyers. We have people that love to be more acrobatic. Then we have people that really want to fly for performance, you know, speed, distance, that sort of thing. For me, I like being more aerobatic, so I like carving and doing different things. The reason I, that this has drawn me into it is because A, I can get better at performance, but also I'm flying with my friends and we're all on the same plane, we're all jumping at the same time. I mean, I really didn't know what to expect from wingsuiting when I started wingsuiting. It was kind of an open book of where we could take it. The sport's always been like that. Whenever you get bored, if that's the word, doing this, you've always got something else to go do. Always. It's only natural that we're going to try and push it into more aggressive competitions to have more fun with it. The great thing about WOWs is you're not doing solos. You're actually jumping against other people the whole time. So you've got that ability to see exactly what's going on and to use references and to try and outfly other people. It brings a whole new aspect into the competition world of wingsuiting. wingsuits and this is the cutting edge. This is the cutting edge of wingsuit competition. I wanted to come and experience it and I think if you're a wingsuiter and you want to branch out past your drop zone and you want to go to events like this is a great one to come to just to get a taste of competition and to see what it's like. Pretty challenging wingsuit race. It's a lot of fun. You get to race against four people at the same time. Uh, unlike some other competitions where it's a solo and you don't really have a good reference point besides yourself. In WOWs you have three other people to race against so you can see how you're doing against the other people in the sky. So it makes it a lot of fun and a pretty good challenge. Cruza, Tony, Luke. Gerdes, Kiddo, Galda, Christian, Forsyth. Uh, he'll be filming you guys instead of everybody just looking straight forward. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 10 minutes, Skyband 2, 10 minutes. That's the way soon, guys. What's up? What's up? basically uh, getting out of the sky van with four people hunched into the door, small door. Uh, that, that's a favorite part, actually. It's way exciting to be on a tailgate like that and you bomb out hoping you're going to get stable about in the first second and then off you go. I think the head to head exits and you know head to head races the entire time are extremely fun.
Rough exit. Tangled with Evan a little bit on the exit, but uh, a little bit of exit drama can definitely have a major effect on your race. Keith took off like a bandit. <laughs> Did you see Chris right behind him? Yes. So Chris was above and behind him, and then I watched him close, and it looked like they were on level and neck and neck from our vantage point. Um, and then after we get everybody's helmet in here, we'll shut and lock the door. That's what they did to me on the last okay. video. Yeah, I'll, you guys can lock it behind me. I'll be I think I'm doing pretty well on the speed. Uh, speed is definitely my thing. I'm going to struggle a little bit in distance. All right, is everybody ready to see who won speed bracket? Let's yeah. Keith! Nice work, Keith! Pretty cool. It was a lot of fun racing against some friends and uh, a lot of good vibes there. I was a little surprised after I landed from that final round. I wasn't sure where everyone was at, so it could have gone either way. It's uh, definitely a little more challenging than some of the other competitions I've been used to. So uh, it's it's a new it's a new style. I like it. Well, yeah, I, they had a <laughs> ended up sixth, not quite what I wanted, but. Um, it's so always next year. The speed was good. I almost made the semi-finals, but got knocked off by a fellow Aussie by one hundredth of a second. So, you know, can't really complain about that. I'm still pumped. We're about to start distance, and you know, we're we're all keen to hit it. The distance round, it's more about holding a really good angle of attack and glide ratio, so that you can get the most distance from exit to 6,000 feet. Basically, for distance this time round, I'm just going to get out. You know, we got a bit of a crosswind at us, so you know, I think the best tactic for me is just to get out, build up some speed, and just you know, hold that speed so I can you know create more lift and just hold on to it hopefully just use that crosswind a little bit keep ahead of my opponents. Competition really makes sense to push yourself to get better and the people around you to get better. We got the light and they're just gonna leave the prop spinning everybody should be in the hangar and then we'll load from the hangar. Cash money at stake. Three thousand dollar purse plus lots of swag. Oh, it's pretty amazing. It's a great learning experience and in a friendly environment, at the same time, a bit competitive as well. So I often find myself being either the only woman in a wingsuit competition or maybe one of two. I think everybody would like to see that change. The few women who do it want more women to do it. The men definitely want more women to do it. I think it's really good for people to see other women going out there and trying. So I'm hoping that more girls get out there and try knowing they can fly with the guys and do really well. Rogers, the big dog! All competition is fun and rewarding. It's not about being competitive, it's about being goal oriented and just having fun with your friends. That was awesome! The thing I enjoy most about the Wilds competition is you're always meeting up with old friends and then you're always meeting new friends. And even though it's an individual competition, 
It almost feels like a team where we all learn together and we get better as a group. Randy, do you think I redlighted? Can you tell? Like from previous runs we've had, it just feels like we left later than normal. There's enough variance here where a lot of people can compete and have a really good time. I think WOWS is definitely an opportunity for the Wingsuit community to present itself as a community that prioritizes innovation. Like something today. Yeah. 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 For a couple rounds of despair, this man is taking home a sick pair of Echo Box headphones that work stupendously with your fly sight. Cutaway smoke mounts. Bad boys come to you directly from ragged mounts. None of this would be possible without all of you guys coming to these events. And Joe Riddler. I yeah, Joe! This is a way for us to show the skydiving community and as, as well as athletic community that we are a serious sport. We have serious competitions and the stakes are high. First place in speed, Keith Forsyth. Mr. Chris Geiler. <laughs> competition was a blast. It's so awesome to have such a fierce competition, but also to have the fun aspect of it. Just it worked out great. Second place in distance, Will Kiddo. I would encourage everybody that even has the slightest uh, inkling that they might want to compete, come out and give it a try. The best way to get better is to push yourself. Push yourself in competition is, is a great learning experience. Going further than anyone else, again, <laughs> Sir Matt Gerdes. For more information on how you can become a better wingsuit pilot and sign up for the Startup Wows Camp, visit www.nextlevel.ws.